and how to use them to get results. Massive, massive results. I just shared my screen up and I would like you to look at a few very important applications. Today, we're going to be talking about content creation and automation. Now, I'm aware that we are very, very busy. I'm equally very busy. I've had a very, very worked up week. In fact, I'm just returning back from the office and I have to be with us today. Of course, this is part of my work. So how am I able to create content, multiply that content, not just create content, multiply the content and then automate it. Notice my tenses, take down notes if you can, create content, multiply content, then automate it. That's how to succeed. That's how to gain leverage. You need to have certain apps on your phone. So if you look at my screen, you notice that I have a few very important apps that help me do a whole lot. Uh, first of all, I have um, Facebook. You need to be on Facebook. Don't say I don't have time to chat. Don't say I don't know. You really need to be on Facebook. I will look at that, explore. Even if you have, you're just on Facebook, you know, just uh, doing stuff on Facebook. How do you make Facebook such that it becomes more profitable for you? Yesterday, I bought a product worth, I think it was $15 from a, an American digital marketer. Makes quite a lot of money from multi millions. I got the product. And I'm probably share with a few of us that are serious about how to turn your social media platforms into um, have ultimate money making machine kind of thing that you know leads you get leads you suck up leads and get results you're looking for. So I have Facebook. I also run. A, I also have a Facebook ads account, which it's also very important. Write that down. Uh, I'll show you where to download these things. Of course, for my conferences, I'm, like what we're using now. I need to have a Zoom. I'm involved in Forex, so I have this Derive account. I like to see what others are doing and buy stuff, especially for those of us who are in Nigeria. So I, 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 I interface with Gigi. I have um, an online wallet where I transfer USDT, Ethereum, Roku, that's my app. There are some people who will pay you in cryptocurrency, that's my app there. And then, of course, we have um, we have InShot. This how to, where you this that's the app that literally enables you to edit videos and do many other things. All right, that also helps you. What other app is important here? My Notepad to write down stuff is also very important. I use it a lot, and then I use Instagram. I'm not a very good Instagram person, but I use Instagram. I don't know, I know that um, a few of us might want to engage Instagram. Instagram is powerful, it has its own strength and its own usefulness. And then of course, WPC Office, which we'll look at, I can use it to record my slides. Uh, we'll talk about that shortly. Okay. So let's look at some other ads I have and I used. I, I believe Telegram is very powerful. You want to download Telegram app. The difference between Telegram and WhatsApp is that Telegram enables you to create huge groups. You can have, if you're running a multi-level marketing team, uh, you want to be restricted with the 256 number that you have on WhatsApp. You want to have more people. Telegram is the best way to go. Um, Telegram, if anybody joins a Telegram group later, person can always see previous um, stuff. Let me get practical on that. Let me just show you that quickly. This is tele that's my telegram. I mean, the, yeah, it has its own weaknesses and challenges, all kinds of, I'm added into so many telegram groups. All right. So uh, this is telegram. I have plenty, plenty groups that they just add me up. I don't know if I can find my group. Uh, let's see if I can find my group. Okay, this is one of this is my, one of the groups I created at the beginning of the year, 30 Days Challenge. Some of you are already involved. We have 700 members. Now, if you join in uh, and about 32 of them are online, if you join in after this, I place this ad, this ad, if you join in later, 
you can scroll back what I'm doing. You can scroll and see everything that we have ever taught. Everything. This was an assignment I gave to someone to do. Person did it. So vision board uh, assignment did shots of. You can go back to last year and see, I mean, you can go as far back as you want to go back and see everything I've ever taught, you know, you know, with pictures and videos. That's beautiful. So if you come in now, that's beautiful. That's the advantage that um, Telegram has over WhatsApp. So as a, as a multi-level marketer, as an entrepreneur, and you're thinking of community building, of building a community, a large community, you can keep them on what's on Telegram. Telegram can have as much as 20,000, 20,000. So I just wanted to show you that. Uh, that's not where we're going to today, but Telegram is a fantastic place, fantastic place to need to have that. So I have Telegram, I do Telegram there. I also, now this is so important. You also want to download Facebook video downloader. Facebook video downloader is an important app you need to have because there are certain videos that you may have that I record when I do Facebook Live. I have some videos on Facebook. I want to download them. I use this app, Facebook video downloader. Go and get it. Make sure you download it now. I have a website, I have blogs. I'm going to open this later in the course of our training. This is my blog. This enables me to rank high on Google. WordPress, you also need to have that on your, um, your phone. That's, those are tools. And then of course, PowerPoint. I use my app here to create a lot of um, quick, quick ones. And then um, save from net. Save from net enables me to download YouTube videos. I, 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 I hear that you can also download Instagram videos and other kinds of videos, but Save from net enables me to download um, YouTube videos very conveniently. And of course, this is also very important. I do my quick designs. Most of the designs I do, I use Canva. So if you're writing, and I, I wish you're writing so you can learn more, make sure that you have these apps that I've mentioned. That is, you go to, okay, those are, those are a few things that, of course, you need to have a WhatsApp. WhatsApp, you need to have WhatsApp. That is like a, a, a sure banker, you need to have WhatsApp. Now, if you want to, if you really want to get some of these apps, you go to your Play Store. The Play Store is something you need to use. Go and download some of these apps, download these apps and have them in your phone because delete certain apps that you're not using. These apps will enable you to create content, enable you to multiply content, enable you to monetize content uh, and automate it. Again, create, multiply, you know, monetize if you can and automate it. So there are certain other apps that um, you can also find. I don't know if Anchor FM has an app, Anchor, Anchor FM. Okay, this is for those who like to do a lot of podcasts, a lot of podcasts. I don't have it installed. I used to have it because I don't use the app very often, but there are people who create like fantastic podcasts, like voice notes and share with their team. So you can install that app, you know, and share voice notes early morning. You can do early morning devotionals. And share to people. You can share through WhatsApp. You can share to Facebook. You can share to you know different places. You can copy the link and do stuff. Very easy to do. Very friendly to use. A fantastic app to work with. For those of you who are into public speaking and you want to improve your public speaking skills, let me give you an app. You want to? Uh, there are many, very many, very many um, interesting apps. Let's see if it's here. This is Orion. Orion is also 
uh, you know, I, I'm a professional speaker, so I don't use this app. But if you want to master public speaking, you want to improve your ability to pitch, then you probably want to install or write for public speaking presentations and speech. So write it down, go and download it. There are certain parts you may need to subscribe, pay some money, you'll be accessed and you'll be trained on how to make better speeches. Now, we have a manual version of it. We have an academy, Podium Dynamics Academy, where a lot of you need to be part of it. You need to sign up. I gave you the offer. Join, private chat me about it. And I'll tell you how you can be part of it. Where we do life assessments. We'll be already involved. So those are the very important apps that you might need to have in your system. Okay, so that's very, very important. I, I need to just mention that that's an overview. Obviously, I didn't, I didn't look at this. Oh, this is important. You need to have, uh, you also need to have, if you have, if you're using an Android phone, like I am, then this will come in. You automatically have a YouTube channel, all right? For me, I store a lot of my information in my Google Drive. I just deleted Google Meet. Google Meet is like Zoom. I don't want to have too many things on my, my, my phone. Google Meet is like Zoom. Google Meet is, but I'm, I've subscribed to Zoom, so I'm staying with Zoom. I just, I, in fact, I moved it today, all right? But these apps are very important. And of course, when you have uh, an Android phone, you automatically have a YouTube channel because you cannot sign up for an Android phone unless you have a Gmail account. So that said, I want us to look at quickly creating content. Let's, where do you get content from? Where do you get content from as a speaker? Quickly, one of the fastest ways to get content is to go to Google, google.com, right? And very often, like I tell people, they don't, people don't know how to use Google enough uh, or well enough. So go to google.com. And with google.com, you can have, you can ask as many questions as possible. You can put in details here and get information, as much information as possible. So Google provides the search engine that can give you information. But let me give you more specific places you can go and get information. You want to write this down, design.com, design. Design.com. Design articles. Design articles. Design articles.com. Design articles.com. Design articles provides you all kinds of materials. This is like a, a wonderful variety of information. And anytime you don't have ideas, or even for your blog, we'll talk about blogging shortly, for your blog, for your content, you can go to Easy Articles. If you cannot try, if you, maybe you think Google will give you issues, you want direct articles, you don't want to go to the trouble, you can just simply go to ezine.com. This is ezine.com. I mean, there are many, many articles. And then you want to check out categories, all right? Is it um, art, entertainment, automotive, book reviews, business, cancer, communications, finance, I mean, home-based businesses, for those of you who are involved in multi-level marketing, this may come internet online business. So let us look at home-based businesses. Home-based businesses are usually, so you see several articles, you know, several articles, you know, several articles on home-based businesses, which includes online businesses, multi-level marketing businesses, you know, see articles you can just, get now when you copy let's assume that seven cards of virtual assistant that clients are looking for let's click on that let's assume that's the topic you're looking for for your facebook posts or for your uh, facebook group or for your facebook page you just copy it you know you know how to copy you highlight you know like i've just done a light and scroll down and then copy and then take it to wherever you want to take it. But I usually recommend that um, this was submitted July 1, uh, July 4th, 2018 by Reese F. Kayuda. I would always suggest that 
after all, you're doing a blog that you don't, don't, you don't plagiarize, that you copy the picture of the person and then also make sure that you paste it. You know, so because you see, the goal is to have content on your blog, on your Facebook content. You know, when people can see now, interestingly, uh, this lady has, this is her source. This is her, you can also, uh, the beautiful thing about design of comes that you can also provide articles. If you click on this link, it should take us to her, the um, virtual assistant with kayuda.blogspot.com. It's actually using a free, she's using a free um, platform. Okay. But if I click on that, I have access to her. I can see what she's doing. You know, that's, that's her blog. She has a lot of ideas that she posts there, and that's her. She's, she's from the Philippines. So um, the point I'm trying to make is that a lot of writers who are writers also provide articles for ezine.com. And because they constantly provide articles, they generate traffic. Like I told you, and I've taught you the first day we had Smart Networker. And for those of you who have been joining, joining me, I said, traffic is a very major thing in the internet business. So when you provide content for ezinearticles.com, you get traffic. This woman has traffic to her blog, to her blog. You know, to her blog. This is her blog. Oh, sorry. This is her blog here. So that you know, this is her blog here. So, so that makes gives her traffic. So when you copy, try and give her the honor. So you can always get information from Eastern articles and many, many information. Let's leave this place. And let's see elance, elance.com. That's another site you can, uh, elance is like journalism where you can, oh, is it elance is Upwork? Okay. So with those joining us, I'd like you to put off your details. Elance, I thought I put elance here. Elance, oh, elance is now Upwork. Upwork is a platform where you can find, you can, you can, you can actually provide content. You can be a copywriter and then you get a job, you sign up on Upwork and then people from all over the world reach out to you and then give you a copywriting job or editing job, you edit and so on. You can also do stuff here. Okay, let's look at um, Eisner. Let's see if that will come out. Eisner articles. Ice articles where you can also get content. The goal is to get content, okay? We also have some other stuff here. 99centarticles.com, okay? Um, PR web, you can write this website down, prweb.com. You want to get information, right? All right, this is also very powerful. Warrior Forum, Warrior Forum. There are different kinds of websites we have I, I wanted to also write this down. There are different kinds of websites. We have um, the traditional websites, all right? They are the static. We have blogs. Blogs are a lot more dynamic, like that have, blogs are driven by content, video content, um, picture content, and so on. We also have um, e-commerce websites. E-commerce websites are driven by what, what is called um, GG, um, the open cut, open cut software, and then, we, we have what is called forum, forums. Then we have membership site. Facebook is a membership site. GG.ng is a, it's an e-commerce site. So they, they work on different platforms. So forums are also very powerful. You can get a lot of ideas from forums. So isner.com, let's see isner.com. You can get articles for your blog, for your Facebook page. I mean, you can just look up for stuff there, all right? So much information to get from these places. So let me see, there's one more I'm thinking about, Medium. I'm sure you've heard of medium.com. Medium.com, write that one too down. Um, medium.com. Medium.com can give you information, loads of articles, and you can sign up. Still loading. 
medium is quite powerful. Explore new perspectives, read and share ideas with, from independent voices, world class publications and experts from around the globe. Everyone's welcome, so you can get started. All right, so this one, this was a problem with this. So, um, you can get started by joining medium.com. It's also very, very powerful. I mean, if you're an intellectual, you want to be in this space, you can also get ideas from medium.com. Um, um, Cora, I think Cora is another place you can get information that you can use, Cora.com. Cora.com, this is Cora.com. You can get information you can use for. The idea is rather than you give yourself stress, now Cora doesn't allow you to, you have to sign up because they're also looking for lists. You know, I told you that another thing that's very important when it comes to the internet is list building. Most information-based websites, even if you're not paying for anything to join, would request that you give them your email or subscribe with Facebook and so on. So Cora is one of such. You can get information from this. Some of these websites I've shared with you, if you provide quality content, at a certain point, they can even pay you. They can pay you. Wikipedia is also another um, website you can you can sign up for Wikipedia. You can you know you can edit information with Wikipedia. I mean, amazing platform to get information. Most times, in fact, Wikipedia has probably one of the largest traffic. If you put the name of anybody, let's go to Google. Let's go to Google and see um, somebody, Google. If you put the name of anybody, let's say we put St. Chris Oyakiloma. Um, the Chris Oyakiloma is the pastor of um, Oyakiloma. Let's see. Amongst other information that will come out, you'll often see that um, he has Wikipedia. This is the Wikipedia for him. All right. So look at us, Wikipedia. That should be Wikipedia. Um, okay, this is Wikipedia stuff. So you click on Wikipedia and you see his information. Now, this, the section of the biography of a living person needs additional citation for verification. This biography of a living person relies too much on references. So you can actually edit information on Wikipedia. Last, it was last edited 26 days ago. By who? Somebody edited it. Okay. Somebody edited this. So somebody has influenced the thoughts that we have about Pastor Chris Ayakulome on Wikipedia. All right. So you can also have a Wikipedia account. So basically, those are those are areas you can, those are where you can get texts, texts, text materials. All right. Text materials. Text materials. Whenever you want to get images for your slides, where do you go to? Obviously, you go to Google or you go to Getty Images, right? Getty Images in your notes. Getty Images. Getty Images will give you, um, will give you different pictures that you can select from. And the beautiful thing about Getty Images is that you can also contribute beautiful images to it. I see the pictures now, amazing. Um, one of the things I do to my slides is that I make my slides beautiful by getting pictures from, because there are many other platforms that you can get images, all right? Get images. So I've said that to get text, to get text, but I'm giving you some website to get images, all right? Let's look at, there's something called infographics. Uh, let's, let me, let me Google infographics. See, one of the beautiful things, okay, these are free downloads. You can download some pictures. One of the beautiful things about the Google is that anytime you don't know what to do, go to Google. Always have that um, infographics. You know what infographics are? Okay, let's see infographic images. All right, or infographic websites. Infographic 
um, MLM images. So I have a lot of, for those of you who are doing MLM, you see, you can even go to pinning trusts. You know, I can search for infographics. Infographics are featured, let me look at images, let me click on images. All right, see, you can get these things and use them for your slides. Although this is quite small, but you can use them for your slides. You can even place them on your blogs. You can download them, you know how to download? You just click on download image and it's there in your system. Download it, you can further use it for whatever you want to use. Infographics are quite powerful. And they, like for those of you who watch my, see my slides, they help you to come up with very powerful slides. Okay, so let's talk about, go back to my, let's talk about, so content creation basically has to do with you either creating content yourself, all right, or researching using these platforms, Wikipedia, Elance, and then coming up with ideas that you can write. If you don't have that time to write, you can source it, but please don't plagiarize acknowledge your source and then post them on your Facebook group and so on and so forth. So um, that's the first thing I wanted to know that you can actually source for materials and gather content um, and, and read content. You can also actually watch videos on YouTube. Uh, one of the things I do regularly is I sleep on YouTube. I'm always going to YouTube to get information from YouTube for my personal development myself and also for um, stuff uh, you can and beautiful things that you can download stuff on youtube most of you don't know that you can download information on youtube uh this um i just have some of the videos i've downloaded recently 35 videos you know this is actually a book this is actually a book that i downloaded and i, I recommend you also get it to this book the secret of the millionaire mind fantastic uh, book five hours. I downloaded. I didn't download it into my phone. I downloaded it into YouTube. I also, the science of getting which two hours, you know, and then um, I also downloaded this book uh, by Don Lock. And one man, Dan Lock. One man you need to follow is that guy, Dan Lock. This one too. I also watch this. Your next 15 moves, all right? I'm a religious man, so I follow Joseph Prince. Um, I'm, I'm also into cryptocurrency, so I, I follow that. I've downloaded some things. Okay, this is another book I downloaded. Really, really help you. Um, how successful people think, all right? You want to look at it. You want to look at this book. Three hours. This one's also very powerful. The Art of Getting Money. I believe so much in in, in Robert Greene. Robert Greene is the author of the book, um, 48 Laws of Power, and my mentor. So download stuff and just for your own personal development, it also help you get materials for speaking, get materials for the content you wanna create. These are the people that I follow. These are the things I watch that enables me to become as content field as you would see. Okay, so this is how to create if you want to download, I created, downloaded this, right? Three pages and so on and so forth. So that's, those are the things I download in my YouTube. I hope you know how to download. Let me see if I can download some one thing for you. Because some people just say, ah, do you think you just have to, how do you download videos? Let me show you, let me show you uh, home. Let's say I want to download this guy's stuff. So I click on it. Uh, pause it. And then I go here on download. I click on download and it's downloading. Downloading right into my, my YouTube. So I can have that and I watch it later. So you can source for video content from YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine. There's nothing you're looking for that you cannot find on YouTube, nothing, absolutely nothing you're looking for, you cannot find on YouTube. Let's let's see what I'm talking about. Just as you can search on Google, you can also search on YouTube. Let's say um, how 
to make banga at this point. How to make bangas? Is that how to banga? Banga soup. Look at it here. Oh, no, uh, banga soup. Somebody has done a video on it. In Nigeria, has done a video on it. Okay. Nine minutes. Somebody has somebody has done a video on it. All right. Somebody has done a video on it. And this person, you see, that one I was telling you that look, don't market. Stop marketing. Start teaching. Start providing content on YouTube. Look at what these guys are doing. These guys are cooks. If I watch this six minutes or nine minutes video and I like what I see, who will like best contacts? The person who taught me, I will either contact Zealous Foods, who by the way has 241K views, or I will con contact CC Yemi TV, all right? Or I will contact any of these people. And you see, Banker Soup, so there's nothing you're looking for on planet Earth that you won't find. Let's look at, uh, most of you here are, are network marketers. Let's search and see what people, what people are not doing on YouTube. Let's assume that you're searching for um, how to choose, how to choose a network marketing company in Nigeria. Sorry, I'm, for those of you who are in Nigeria, let me just use that to, to show marketing company. In Nigeria, then I click. What information comes out? You see that they see no, no much information because network marketing companies, aside this one that is uh, running ads, are not providing. They are not providing content for that space. They are not providing content for that space. All right. So look at this one now. They're not providing content for that space. And that is amazing. This is amazing. This is like superly amazing. Not too much content. Mostly white guys providing content. Okay? So, not good. Well, we should be having a lot of Nigerian people providing content here. We have very few persons, who, except this Adewale Adebusoye, who is providing content um, for people. So we need to begin to work very hand in hand with, by creating videos, you've got to create videos. That's the point I'm trying to make. You've got to create a lot of videos and put them. When you create these videos, you will become findable, you become searchable. I remember one of those is we're searching for network marketing companies in Nigeria. We saw this guy. So whatever business this guy is pushing, what about guys, this business guy is pushing? We will trend, we will succeed because when the people are searching for knowledge on YouTube or on Google, this is the guy they will find. I don't know if you get my point. So a lot of us are not doing, you see, he has also done, and using keywords. Uh, and on the, one of these days, I, I don't want to dwell too much on YouTube because I can spend practically the whole day on the power on YouTube. But before I leave here, I will still take my time to show us YouTube in details and get us to you know, do a YouTube video. So use YouTube to search for content. You also, YouTube, you also need to upload your videos on YouTube. So I have videos on YouTube. I have close to, I don't know, last time I checked, I'm always putting videos out on YouTube every day. And I'm gonna show you how I use my phone, create content on of YouTube, and then download it using Safe From Net, all right, or I use content, do content on Facebook Live, download it using my Facebook downloader. I told you about those apps you need to put in your system. I download it and I share it on Facebook. I want to teach you the step-by-step -step process and get you to do it yourself. So you start providing content. And let me shock you. A lot of you think that your videos need to be edited. They're like, they need to be really, really edited and get, trust me, when people are looking for content, for information, they're not looking for packaging. They're looking for the person who's got the real stuff. YouTube is content driven just as much as Google is content driven. So focus on the content, all right? And be real. That's why Facebook Live is so powerful. That's why Zoom is so powerful because you're being real. So those are some of the videos I've done. There are some that are packaged. There are some that I, I keep making sure that I put content 
every day. Some I have great views, some I don't have great views. Uh, I keep making sure I have, I put out content. I've been putting out content for like God knows when, because I know that uh, while it's important to put out Facebook con book live content, you also want to put content on YouTube and Google so that you can be findable. You'll find these videos some, when you search for speaking, a lot of them are on speaking, you see me there. So I've been doing these videos for God knows when. I also have some very interesting package videos like NLP training in Nigeria, public speaking in Nigeria. It's taken me a while. And you can also do that. I'm going to show you what to do, all right, and how to upload these videos on your system. So let's go away from YouTube. YouTube will help you work with videos. I want to talk about creating creating content. That's what my plan today was to teach you. Uh, of course, I could teach you a whole lot, and I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to be in a hurry because I want you guys to really get it. This is another thing I want to teach you. WordPress. I've told you to download it into your system. I'll show you how to create a simple blog because when people are searching for information on Google, uh, websites climb up, but Google uh, blogs climb up faster because Google is favorable towards blogs. And so with this simple blog here, I can quickly do stuff. I'll open it maybe tomorrow and show you how to use your blog. First of all, you need to create a blog. Again, remind me, I'm going to teach you YouTube in the coming days and how to use it and how, because it's when, when, when you're searched and found, you have massive engagement. Through those YouTube videos, I've gotten big clients, major, major clients. All right, so about... About, let's look at um, PowerPoints, and then we'll close for today. As a networker, as a networker, you need to be acquainted, you need to download PowerPoints. I use these PowerPoints you have here, yeah, I have some of them here, were done by me with my phone, with my phone. So I can do a quick PowerPoint with it. So when you have a PowerPoint like this, you can open, you can click on open, uh, you can, sorry, you can just click on this plus side, plus side, and then you have what you want to do. You can either use a blank presentation or you can use medicine. These are various um, stuff that you want, you can use to create your simple PowerPoints. All right, these PowerPoints can be recorded. The WPC, this one, WPC, this one. WPC, PS rather, this can enable you to record your PowerPoints. Let me see if we can see, it, if we can open. All right, so I could, I could open one of these slides, you know, I could open one of these slides and then choose to do a few things with it. I could choose to What am I doing? What am I doing now? Okay, so what I'm saying now, I can choose to record. All right, I can. If I click on record now, if I click on record now. It will record. It will record it, and I can be speaking. All right, I can be speaking about this, you know. And as I'm speaking, I did this slide on Microsoft, I on my PowerPoint. Then I am now recorded. I can record it as a voice note. You know, I can record it as a as a voice note. I'll I'll get it to teach you this um, shortly. Once I record as a voice note, it's now recorded as a video, which I can store, which I can share to YouTube, which I can share to Facebook, I can share to WhatsApp, just by recording. So you can do a lot of videos without your face appearing. Another um, another platform that can enable you do that is go to Play Store. 
I think is Camtasia. Let me see whether I got that right spelling right. Cam. See. Yeah. Camtasia screen recorder. That's it. There. It can enable you to capture whatever you're doing. And then it forms as a video. So you can download that also if you need to create video content. All right. So let's go quickly to our PowerPoint. How many of us here know how to use PowerPoint? Because we are always speaking as trainers, speaking as multi level marketers, a time comes when you have to condense your stuff into PowerPoint. You need to master it. All right. And what I want us to do today is I'll give us an assignment. I want us to, for those of you who already know it, you fine tune it, make it better. There's always room for improvement. Find a way to have content. And when you're doing your Zoom meetings, you can use those PowerPoints to um, show people on Zoom because you know that you can share your screen on Zoom. And so let's look at a simple one. So let me use this. Uh, let me use, a, let me use this. All right. I gone to, I've created a new stuff and then I'm opening this. This is what happens to you when you open the first page. Now look at all the tools we have here. Look at all the tools we have here. You can edit, you can edit, all right? You can search, you can slide, you can undo. And below here, we have so many things you can do. You can change the layout. I just click below. You can add a message. You can do stuff like that. You know, like um, a table kind of stuff and write stuff on it. Let me undo that. Uh, okay. You can add an image. This is image and so on and so forth. So let us say I'm doing, uh, I want to type stuff. I can cut out images, I can copy, I can paste, I can add documents, I can duplicate, I can delete. So before I do that, one of the things I want to do quickly is to add as many slides. I'm going to just do five slides. Go to this plus sign and click one, two, three, that's four, five. So we have five. Then I return back to the first slide, the first slide. Let us say, I click here, I double click, and then words come out. I can say, um, George ACN's training. All right. The distance training. All right. So Here, I can also click on, on slides. I can share the slides I've just done to anywhere. I can save it. I can save us. I can print it with my phone. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that like really, really beautiful? Like superlative beautiful. So um, I can choose to move Judge Asian's training by clicking on alignment and it centralizes. See what I did? I came down to this arrow, this arrow here. Let me, let me show it to you. I came down to this arrow here. All right. And I clicked it and I scroll down and I pick this, the distance training. Okay. I could also change the color. If I don't like that color, I can choose another color. White will go better. Seems because white will go better. All right. I can choose to make it bold. I can choose to make it italics. I can underline it. I can take out the underline. I can choose to make it italic. I can make it bold. I can reduce the size. Reduce the size and so on. So a lot you can do with that. Now, what if I want to add an image? All right, as I click on image here, and it takes me to my files. 
It takes me to my recent downloads. It can also take me to the images I have. Uh, let's see the Asian training. Uh, let's use this one as my first. I put, I click on that. Let me use this one, this picture. And then it is done. I'm done. I've inserted pictures. So I have that picture. I can choose to make it bigger, you know, to cover the entire space. Then I'll click here and say bring to send backwards and send backwards again. Okay. So since I've chosen to make this thing white, I don't think I, I don't think I like the colors white. This should go for uh this should go for uh yellow. or black. So I have my first slide done. Oh, that will come out fine. So uh, I could change the layout. Sorry. Did it save? I think it did. Layout. Okay, I want it to be um, a picture first. Something like that. So for those of you who don't know what I just did, let me use a marker to highlight it. So I click on this one layout and I scroll down and I pick something and it changed. That's how this thing works. All right. So um so I've done my second one. Um I can type what I want to type. I can put the title, I can put the third one and on and on and on and on. When I'm done with the slides, I've told you how to put pictures. You can go here to put pictures. There's a chat already. Let's take another picture so you see. Go to the recent pictures. Uh, that's my lovely wife there. Let me pick her up. Okay. And then the one I've inserted the picture. But I type what I want to add a title there and type it. And I put my picture. This is my wife. It's always good to not just put click your stop text reason. Make sure that whatever you're doing, however you're doing your, your slides, there's always a picture to represent what you're saying. Once you're done with the slides, it can take you some time. Just carefully work with the tools. You now click here. Once you click on this part, it will show us how far we have gone. It's like a slideshow. How far we have gone. You can go back, you know. Okay, so let me start again. Slide show. This thing we just did now. You know? Just did that now. So go to your download your app, download the app, Microsoft PowerPoint, and play with it. Give it a shot. Don't say I can't do it. Give it a shot. Turn all of the text you put into slides. Few points. Get images that you can use to represent 
those slides and then do a slide, 10 slides, 20 slides, and then create something close to what I've done. These are a few slides I've done. Uh, this is platform present, this was done. I've, uh -huh. So what I'm talking about, see, example, just type and you're good to go. Some I just have images, just images and I type very simple slides. I, I, I type uh, images that truly represent what I'm talking about. And then you have slides. This is, this is a lecture, you know? And then aside having this as um, slides, I can record it and produce a video for YouTube. All right, so that's a slide, this one, done. That's the end. There are others too that are done, amazing. Uh, this one too, 10 areas that you focus on in um, executive public speaking, okay? So it's good to start your, your slides with an introduction of you, you know? I'm, I try to make my slides very easy. I'm very simple, all right? I get appropriate pictures. I don't know text. I make words very few, you know, and then I put them there, I type them. I like to use white background so that it's friendly to the eyes and not just, um, this is one of the trainings I've created. I get appropriate images and I put them there. You can do it, it's very easy. You can do it, you two can do it. I'll make it happen for you. So go out there. Give me an assignment now. Um, download Microsoft PowerPoint. Look forward for a lecture. Either your compensation plan. You know, some people say, ah, George, why don't we just do um, what others have done for us? Okay, you can take what others have done for you and edit it. If you have a laptop, you can take it, go to Microsoft PowerPoint, and then edit it and make it, customize it to yourself. It's not difficult. All you need to be familiar with is with the tools, uh, the tools bar, and then you walk and if you're using the phone, you can create a very simple stuff. You know, in those days, I used to pay somebody money to do slides for me. And one day I owed people 5,000. I used to do a lot of meetings and I heard myself, I can't be paying 5,000 every day for slides. What's the about this? Is it an app? So I can do Facebook, I can do WhatsApp. Let me go. So I went on to do this app, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, and I began to. You know, that's on laptop, the laptop. I began to check, experiment, fail, try again, you know, ask a few questions. And now you have a coach like me. And before long, I was doing well. I could do beautiful slides. I was, I'll take some people's slides, you know, that could, they could give me and I'll try and break it down and try and repeat it. And today I do at least fair enough slides that I can use and people are wow. I use for events. I use for Zoom meetings. I, I can share them on Facebook Live. So part of your content creation strategy is to learn how to use, power, to create PowerPoints, to learn how to get images from Google, all right? You can get images from Google, download them, or use your images, get appropriate images, or go to Getty Images and download them, then create a um, beautiful slide. That's how you make PowerPoint. Or that's how you make this PowerPoint. And get page in there because PowerPoint will be useful, will be useful for will be useful when you go to use when you want to record the WPS office or Camtasia. All right. When you go to this place now, you can see some of those things are already there. Then you're they are there. All right. So you look down. I have some here. Sorry, guys. I have to go. All right. So there's some parts of Camtasia that you can you can also get stuff. But hey, what I'm going to say here is.
I don't want to get into my stuff, but I have some private things I don't want to say. But... All right, so let's leave this. <laughs> let's leave this for a while. We'll, we'll talk about that um, shortly. So I don't want to choke you guys so much with information, but if you're going to come anything today, we need to. The first thing I've said for today's class is that we need to download certain apps, and we're going to be using them. We're going to be exploring them, and you may not master them all at once. We have said that you need to download um, WPS. Instagram, Facebook, uh, these are very key. Zoom, obviously, InShots, all right? It goes to download WordPress.com. These are apps you need to have in your site. PowerPoint, which you use to create. Safe from Net, Facebook downloader, video downloader, Telegram, and those are, and then if you're using Android phones already, you have stuff. That's the first thing we said. You need to download those, apps, those um, mobile apps because you'll be using them to create content, all right? You're using them, to, they will help you multiply content. They will help you multiply content. How do you multiply content? That's what I'm going to be sharing with you in the coming days. Although tomorrow I will still look at some other platforms like Facebook. We we'll also, um, I also said about where to source content from. We looked at Medium, we looked at Wikipedia, Upwork, Elance, um, Ezine.com. These are sites you can, YouTube, Google, these are sites you can get information from. This is the second thing we talked about today. Now, the third thing is that we said was that you need to um, also know how to use YouTube to get content to watch. I showed you how to download it. Let me see if I, there's one thing I didn't teach you about. There's a particular app here called Safe From Net. All right. So let me show you how to use Safe From Net. You can download the app or you can just use the site safe from net directly most of you who follow me notice that i i i make reference to safe from net a lot you can download from youtube you can download from instagram you can download from vimeo you can download from facebook i can download from soundcloud we'll talk about soundcloud later i have tried others but i've not been able to succeed like but i've been able to succeed with youtube so you just copy and insert the link here and you click on download and you're good to go that's how it works, all right? Safe from it is very powerful stuff. Then in the coming days, we look at Canva, how to create simple flyers. Like if you look at my um, email, some of, the, some of the stuff I do, I do a lot of stuff, um, a lot of Canva, you know, brief stuff. Like I'm doing an event on Monday and um, let's see if I can show you some photos. I'm doing an event on Monday. Okay, this is done by, this was done by Canva. I'm sure you've seen this already. For those of you who are interested in public speaking business, this was not done by Canva. This was done by, this was done with Corel Draw. All right, this was done with Corel Draw, but this is done with Canva. Um, let me see another. This was done with Corel Draw. All right, uh, let's see another. This is an upcoming event I'm doing. It was done with Corel Draw and um, Canva too. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create amazing, amazing. You see, this is, I'm, I'm downloading pictures. I download a lot of pictures for my slides, for my presentations. I download lots of pictures. This was also done with Canva. All right. So I'll, I'll show you how to. This was done with Canva too. It was done with Canva. I want to teach you that in the coming days, how to use Canva to get amazing results. All right. So this was done with, um, not, this was not done with Canva. This was done with um, Corel Draw. Corel Draw is, is usually used to use a laptop to get stuff. So I'm always having images. This was done with Canva. This was done with Canva. Canva gives you existing templates. So you just work with templates and then create what you're looking for. All right. So I'm going to stop here for today and then uh, we'll take questions from you and see how much value you've gotten. I hope you got value today.